uh, we're here uh, continuing our adventure on the other side to Fuchsia. And battling trainers. I already mentioned wild Pokemon here, which only new one is like Venonat, which is, you can find Safari Zone and Ditto. Um, so, kind of just playing the game, trying to get Lapras up there in levels. Because we're getting closer. I, I know it doesn't seem like it. I mean, there's still quite a bit of the game left, but we're hitting the point in the game where it's just going to be one after the other after the other, where we'll be moving quite quickly through it. And there's actually not a lot of trainers that are left, I guess. Would be, there are quite a bit, but the experience is going to come more from wild battles in comparison it, it that was a terrible comparison just know that we're reaching I, I guess past the halfway point at this point even though technically if you want to look at it the way we passed the halfway point when we reached Erica but that's that's your opinion but so I got you here on this route, which is actually something I want to talk about. Really just highlight, there's a cuttable tree, you cannot go up this way, but we have a trainer right here, so we'll fight him. But I want to highlight this because it's kind of interesting and it's, it's common nowadays to have choices for your own adventure in a lot of games. Um, Mass Effect initially popped into my head like instantly so like there's plenty of games out there now that are all about bringing your choices into the game and exploring them but in Pokemon we have not that many choices you could choose your team members obviously I mean I don't know how many of you use a Lapras but I like to or who picks Bulbasaur not a lot of people apparently Everyone loves Charmander for some reason, I don't know why. I understand why, it's cool looking. I, lo I like its design up to a certain point, but I'm not gonna talk about that. I think I have a little rant video to go on that. But choices are not, there's not a lot of story choices I'd say. Actually, there's none at all, but in the scenario of you reaching Rock Tunnel, everyone's adventure has been the same. You went through Viridian Forest. The only thing that could have changed is that you skipped certain battles or you did certain things. But your path has been the same. You've reached Pewter City. You, you went through Mount Moon. You got to Cerulean City. You went through and got to Vermilion, SSN. You did Diglett's Cave for flash or you didn't that was your choice you could have done it or not but once you reach lavender town it's the sign of i don't know of choices so to say you can choose to skip um pokemon tower at the very beginning i did it right away for experience reasons or what i thought would mean i have more time to talk about certain things or just enjoy it's really my choice and it's something i've done since a kid so it's just there but you could skip that and save it for later maybe you fear the rival battle it's not that hard but maybe you fear it so you move on you can go to celadon city right away and this is where once you finish the rocket base and you go to pokemon tower you have and you finish that get the pokefu you have many options available to you like I did it where I went and fought Erica and then I moved on to Silphco and then fought Sabrina and then now I'm doing everything around Fuchsia but if you don't like that option it's a valid option to go to Fuchsia instead of fighting Erica you have the Pokefoo you can move on and it's really Depends if you want to rush for the Pokemon you want. The only Pokemon that I could rush for is Tauros, which 
I hope to get it by after we finish this route and Fuchsia Gym, so I can't wait to actually use it. It's fun to use in competitive and here, so. Um, but there's many choices and you could choose to take Cycling Road and you could choose to take uh, Route 12 and 13. I recommend if you want to skip the most trainers, you take Cycling Road. There's only a certain amount of required trainers there, while here there's quite a few sight blockers where they'll instantly see you. So, if you want to skip the most and you just want to speed through the game, just go through Cycling Road. But... If you want to do everything, which, well, first you would be doing the catch them all run, which I don't have the time for that. Not, not really time. I skipped you down there. Um, this is a weird little maze. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, right here. Probably a hidden item over here. Bird Pokemon. But um, so you get. A bunch of choices and I'm bringing this up because your team could be vastly different from mine which is fine and it's your choice but it also brings up the interesting point that you can have a uh... by the way whirlwind and roar don't do anything in trainer battles if I haven't mentioned that it's mentioned now but you can have a variety of different Pokemon way before um, like what's not intended but kind of just available to you we s like uh cycling road which has do duo i i think i looked that up recently to make sure i was right in that video and i just kind of slid it under the, the radar but i am right they are available so if you like dodrio which it's a fun pokemon to use it hits hard and it's fast and you can go and do that and then go fight erica or maybe you decide, I don't want to fight Erica for a long time. Well, that, that's your choice. Though it is required that you do the Fuchsia Gym before the seventh one, just saying. Just saying. Hey, I actually... I don't know who to put that on. I'll decide before the end of the game. Even though the only one that would actually get some use out of it is probably Lapras, actually. Learn better moves. Actually, that brings up... I doubt you actually have TMs. And he brought up the same point. What I would really like to see in future games... Um, if you've ever played Pokemon Revolution... Battle Revolution, sorry. But there's a Trick Room team in there, which I had a blast fighting against. And, I don't know, I just feel like it'd be really cool to see a variety of different trainers in the game that focus on a strategy or two. Or TMs and HMs. I know there's some trainers later in the series that do it. I know in black and white... Two, there's a specific trainer actually it's black and white not black and white 2 that runs like an it has a TM I can't remember I remember seeing it going huh I I'm gonna look it up now to or I'll freaking remember only a few people have HMs now I have to wonder why because the seasick old man was willing to give it away for patting him on the back. And you're telling me I'm the only one that did that? No, that is not true. And that's my last Ice Beam PP. Maybe I should use PP up on Ice Beam. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, well, Surf Kill is the question. I don't think so. I don't think it'll kill. Lapras isn't known for being a hard hitter. It was close though. Luckily we have Body Slam and Surf to balance this out. Nice to see that 34. It's just 
I was hoping to read that sign first. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? Well, my Spearow, who is my slave, thank you, is uh, able to fly me to cities somehow. Even though I carry a bike in my backpack, which should weigh him down. And I also... Weigh... How much does a 10-year-old weigh? Anyway, you add that to the bike and you add uh, Pokeballs, which I'm guessing aren't that light. So... Huh. Makes it kind of impossible, huh? But what's really impossible is how this thing can fly in front of me. How can a Dodrio fly? How can a Dodrio fly? And how come Garchomp can't if this can? A Firo. Um. Well, since Surf doesn't kill it, actually it's 28. So. But back to the choices. Um. I'm actually interested in, like, uh, the viable, like, path people choose, so, I don't know. Well, west of Fuchsia City, yep. I kind of want to stop here to go heal, but I don't really care, so let's continue. Poison type trainer, huh? There's Cycling Road, like, Go up or south. Go north or south, not up or south. That's not how it works. And then go west. And then eventually you'll hit, hit it. No matter where you go. Uh, I, I was waiting. I had to wait. Awesome. Also, you take poison before they even attack, which is kind of dumb. But they fixed that in Generation 2. Um, we'll keep it in here. And then... We have an Alakazam. It's been a while since we've used another Pokemon. I know it's kind of probably irritating. But... There's going to be a huge section of the game where... We're using a variety of different Pokemon. So... It's no big deal. Um, we'll fight this last trainer. Legendary Pokemon. What? What are you talking about, man? I don't know what legendary Pokemon you're talking about. I don't know what bird is on your arm either, because that looked like a parrot, which... Sorry to say, those don't exist here. Until 4th Gen. Alright, shout out. Which is not really uh i guess it can count we'll count it why did i lose because you have a an a real animal on your arm and you use a far fetch well next time we'll be hitting fuchsia city again so till then